Hi, I'm PJ from PhotoshopBus.co.uk, and in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how you can do some auto correction, as the title of the tutorial says. I suppose it's more of a tip really than a tutorial, and it's just basically limiting the amount of work you do and making Photoshop do more work. And for a lot of images, this will work for you, you know. So let's just show you an example of how to do it. I'm going to open Mini Bridge and I've got ready this washed out picture of this swan and her signets. So we'll first open it with Camera Raw just to show you quickly that there is, and there's the full screen button by the way, that there is an auto button on this first tab which is basic. So this is where you've got your exposure, your contrast, your highlights everything else is you know the individual parts so they really haven't got well I don't think any of them have got a auto button not um, directly in sight anyway so we'll just stick to this basic and click auto and that does a pretty good job but it's still kind of washed out there ain't much contrast well there's not enough contrast put it that way now um, to get back to how it was, we could close it and then reopen it and blah blah blah. But we're just going to do camera raw defaults. Don't do previous conversion and don't do um, it's just and don't do default. It's camera raw defaults. And then if you click on this blue right in the link down there, you get the option to let it open a smart object or not. So if I was going to do some work on the image and then come back into uh, Camera Raw to do some more work in Camera Raw. I could you open it as a smart object, so when I double click on the smart object, it would it would create a link between Camera Raw and Photoshop, just like you can create that link between Photoshop and Illustrator, for example. But we don't need it to, so we'll uncheck that box and we'll just do Open Image, and it'll just open it as a normal image, as you can see by our layers planet panel and we can maybe do panel options make them tabs bigger you can see it's just a normal layer locked so let's create a few maybe five um, instances of that image by hitting control J so that's uh, to duplicate a layer control J and we're going to name them so we'll name the top one um, adjust curves and the one underneath adjust levels and then we're just going to do color in fact let's do auto and oh, how do they go contrast so auto contrast uh, cancel auto contrast one of the many things wrong with my computer is I've got a um, a USB port which is not working as it should and I keep getting this damn message comes up from my backup drive anyway and then we've got um, auto tone so auto tone so we know what we're doing and then this is the background so Let's turn off all these, work on the auto tone. You might have seen it, glimpsed it when I went to image. And we've got some auto tone, contrast, and color. So, as the layer says, auto tone. And there, that is a much better looking image than what we started with. Well, I'd say it is. And it's better than what we got in Camera Raw as well. So, let's go on to auto contrast next. And we'll go image, auto contrast. And that's a lot warmer as you can see them greens are warmer and you know look at the colors of the signet signets they're warmer so and then do auto color image auto color all found under the image menu auto color and we've probably lost some of that warmth we've got some nice deep colors going on there and it's probably more like auto tone see there's not much difference 
it's a little bit warmer with the auto tone I suppose auto color is the darkest or the less warmth but depending on what you're going for but they're all pretty passable compared to what this was now the reason I also have adjust levels adjust curve is because we can do this with levels and curves as well and I'm going to do it using the adjustment layer so it's non-destructive um, which is kind of a bonus by doing it this way it's a little bit longer it's not your one click or two three clicks it might be five clicks <laughs> but not not many not many clicks at all really so let's click that on hold down alt and come to our adjustment layers down the bottom and then go on to levels because we're on the adjust levels le uh, layer now we're still holding down all we're going to click levels so we get this new layer and we can name it so we can call this well we'll know it's levels and we can tick the box to use the previous layer to create that clipping mask which is what we want now if you don't do it that way you can clip and unclip a layer with the layer below by just bringing your hand between the two layers holding down all till it turns to the square with the arrow pointing down and then clip okay so now what that means is that top layer is only going to affect what's in the layer underneath so in this case that levels is only going to affect the layer underneath anyway we're not here to talk about adjustment layers so here we have an auto button as well as promised let's click it and see what happens well it's kind of done probably what it done in camera raw not much really so let's undo that and what we're going to do this time is hold down alt and hit that auto button now alt is one of them buttons in photoshop which kind of changes the way things work so auto buttons for example and filters and um, you know resets some things um, I think if we were to go to image um, levels yeah it changes to cancel to reset you see by holding alt anyway so yeah we're on that levels gonna hold down alt and we're gonna click auto now the first one you get is basically what you'd get if you didn't hold down the alt and you clicked auto you got this kind of look so it's enhanced the brightness and the contrast uh, but it's not really giving us what we want it goes that proxy um, connection again so let's click on the top one now that's a lot better and then the bottom one uh, middle one and then the third one down now if we rest our mouse over it we get the tip for that uh, little option there and if you get at the end of it you can see in brackets it says auto contrast the next one says auto tone and the next one says auto color so this is another way of creating the same thing as you get from the image menu except this way it's a little bit longer but let's let's do our um, in fact let's do the auto contrast because that's probably my favorite and click OK this way we have got a layer mask to work on so we can remove and we can also bring back um, on that uh, layer mask for that um, levels for that adjustment layer and also we can drop the opacity uh, what else can we do we could change the density and the feather of that mask so you've got a few more options and of course you can change the blending mode you've got a few more options by using adjustment layer it's non-destructive basically and gives you a few more options so this is probably the way I would go if I was gonna do it rather than using these buttons here and then adjustment curves is the same really we'll do, hold down alt and we'll go adjustment curves use previous layer to create clipping mask ok if I click auto look at the curve look how it's look at the how it's um, bent so we've got one two three points and we ain't really getting nothing let's undo that let's hold down alt and click auto and remember as I was saying on the um, levels that the enhanced brightness and con contrast is basically what you get when you click the auto button without the options well we clicked it with the option button or the alt button open this time so alt and you see basically this kind of just proves that fact because we've got the same curve as if 
we'd hit that auto button without the alt option button on the Mac and then again we've got our contrast and then we've got our tone and then this will be our color so find light and dark colors enhance per channel contrast enhancement and chromatic contrast so it's probably giving you a little bit more information as to actually what's going on as well rather than uh, just clicking through the image and again like I say we do end up with the adjustment layer it's non-destructive and we've got them extra options so anyway that's using autocorrect in Photoshop so um, hope you use it hope it saves you some time please uh, come and check us out at photoshopbus.co.uk for lots more tutorials and well just come and check us out thanks for watching catch you next time